What's up, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's me Marcus back here in BMX Streets Pipe and this one's going to be really awesome. I'm going to the Woodward Park that's in Dave Mira's Freestyle BMX 2. I actually only played Freestyle BMX 1 on the PlayStation 1. This is the version that came out on the PlayStation 2. I remember Woodward from the PlayStation 1 version, but I think this one is a little bit different. Also, if you guys want to go pick up a hat, you can get this hat, you can pick up this shirt right here. It's on my website, somethingradco.com. The link is in the description if you guys are interested. I have a whole summer line as well that's all new designs. You guys can pick that stuff up as well. That helps support the channel. And also, I think this stuff's pretty cool. I mean, I might be a little biased, but I like the clothing that I designed. I think it's awesome. So if you guys are interested, definitely at least go take a look um, and pick something up if you're super interested in it. But that's it for the uh, promotion there. Let's get into riding this park and see what it's all about. I forgot to mention that this park is made by Connor T. He's been making parks a lot recently. And uh, this is gonna be pretty cool to just kind of ride around this place. I, again, I remember parts of this, I think from the first Dave Mira game, because it's based off of Woodward. Um, I said that real weird. Uh, <laughs> it's based off of Woodward and, or Woodward at the time, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's Woodward West or Woodward regular standard East Coast Woodward, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, Similar parks. This whole area seems very familiar to me. Again, I only played Dave Mirror's Freestyle BMX, the original, but I played Maximum Remix. So this might be a park that was put into Maximum Remix. I don't remember. I think Maximum Remix was like a later version of the first Dave Mirror game. Um, and then Dave Mirror 2 might have added on to what Maximum Remix had. I don't remember exactly, but um, it's pretty cool to just be able to ride this place and it's a Dave Mira style of park because those games back in the day they weren't very realistic with the way they were designed um, because the games themselves they didn't play extremely realistic so the design of the parks and everything it was a bit odd it's like the Tony Hawk games you go back and play those and the level designs in those games they're super overscaled. Uh, everything is just kind of skatable. And same thing with these Dave Mirror games. Everything is pretty much rideable because they just put quarter pipes everywhere. <laughs> they just make it to where you can do some crazy stuff out here. So the design of a lot of the older action sports games, the levels in those games, they're real, real unrealistic. Let's go into this building right here, see what this is about. It looks like over here to the left we have a half pipe, and then to the right it looks like there's this bowl right here. Not much of a flat bottom on this thing. <laughs> Did I hit my head on the wall there? That was smooth though. I'm gonna try and manual from this bowl over to the half pipe. It. Yeah, I like that right there. Sweet! And then you have the half pipe right here. It's kind of a smaller half pipe, especially compared to the ones outside. Those out there are huge. Oh, over rotated the five. Oh, there we go. That was cool. So, again, right over here, this is like the, um, the middle part of this map, I'm pretty sure. And this is where you have the really big half pipes, the really big ramps. See, like this right here, this is just kind of a unique style of feature right here that you would find in a lot of those early action sports games from PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, where it was um, just kind of some weird stuff. Any of you guys that played both Dave Mirror games, let me know if I'm crazy or, or what, because for some reason, a lot of this seems very familiar to me. Are these dirt jumps? <laughs> is that what this is? It is, and I do remember, again, I remember some dirt jumps in the first Dave Mira. These are the craziest looking dirt jumps I've ever seen. Let's see how these things ride. <laughs> That's huge. That's going to be difficult. Trying to get the speed for that's not easy at all. Come on. <laughs> there it is. And I still came up short just a little bit. Dude, what? 
These things are crazy. I don't even know what these things are. I mean, they're dirt jumps, but <laughs> they're definitely the weirdest dirt jumps I've ever seen. Man, this place is really big, actually. See, I don't remember all of this. I just remember that main part that I was at earlier. Right over there. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'm getting disoriented out here. That's kind of a cool transfer. That would have been cool if I landed in a quarter pipe and not a set of stairs. Yeah, right into this bowl. Transfers out here, there are a lot of them. This looks like a box jump line. There's another half pipe right over here. Let me actually get an idea of how big this place really is. Right over there is the main area that I started at, and now all of this is starting to make sense. I only remember from the Dave Mirror games that that main area right there in the middle of the screen. Everything else out here is probably from Dave Mirror 2, so I kind of feel like in Dave Mirror 2 they just kind of added on to the first map of Woodward that they had in the first Dave Mirror game. You can see there's so much to ride out here. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to ride everything. That's just how a lot of these videos go. Especially with a lot of these bigger parks where there's so much to ride. I could spend hours and make a video that's 30 minutes to an hour long easy if I wrote everything. So I kind of have to break it up and just try and give a brief overview of everything out here without touching every single ramp. I'm going to have to go into the buildings too because there are several buildings out here to explore. Let's see if I can get this going. Over jumped it just a little bit, but it's cool. You can definitely transfer from section to section and get some flow going out here. Yeah, look at that. That was clean. Another one. Went a little deep there. I like this place. This is awesome. Let's check out some of these warehouses now, some of these buildings. And I've never been to Woodward. I did watch the Camp Woodward TV show that was on Fuel TV back in the day, but I've never actually been here, so I'm not familiar with the parks with first-hand knowledge, as I'm sure some of you guys watching this are, because there at least has to be a few of you guys that have been to Woodward. So you can kind of have an idea of how this place stacks up against the real thing, but more so how it stacks up against the Dave Mira version of it in the second Dave Mira game. This place is really fun to ride though. All of the warehouses and everything that I've been into so far rides really good. That was a little odd. I kind of got to a wall ride there. Here's a ramp right here. It looks like it has a spine on it. So this will be fun to ride. Man, there's so much to ride out here. It's crazy. The more that I'm riding around, I notice more stuff in the distance. Alright, that was cloud nine. Let's go right over here. This is the playground. This kind of looks like it's a little bit smaller scaled. Oh, is this the uh, is this the warehouse that has the mini ramp in it? That would make sense if it was smaller scaled. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I don't know what happened right there. I do know Woodward has this crazy looking mini ramp. And it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm kind of guessing that this might be the warehouse with that in it. It has to be this right here. This looks this looks like that mini ramp that I've seen several times that they have at Woodward. Oh, that would have been cool if I would have actually made that transfer. Looks like there's a mini jump line right here. And this for sure seems like a smaller scale park, more of like a progression park compared to the Cloud Nine park. That one over there that I was riding just now for this one, that part definitely seemed to be on the bigger scale of things. Go 
Come on, transfer in. Yeah! I'm surprised that I got that. Alright, let's head out here, see what's out here. This is cool. Man, this place, again, there's so much out here. I do remember this thing from Daymare 1. I know for sure that was in the first Daymare Woodward map. Like this crazy spine thing that has the coping go all the way to the ground. <laughs> right here's lot eight. This is probably the most famous uh, warehouse at Woodward, at least to my knowledge. I feel like this one is the one that I have heard of before. I think this is the one with the foam pit in it. I think right here is where, it, like, you have the resi. Nope, that's not the foam pit. Let me see if I can find it. I think lot eight is the one with the foam pit. It has the foam pit to the left and then the resi landing to the right. And I don't know if that's in the game. Again, I'm not sure how accurate the uh, Dave Mira 2 version of Woodward is compared to the real version of Woodward. And I'm not sure how accurate this version of Dave Mira 2 Woodward is accurate to the Dave Mira version. So there, there are several different layers to this whole thing when it comes to accuracy. Let's see if I can get something on this jump line here. Oh, there's the cliffhanger. <laughs> and I cased it. Here's a sweet transfer if I can get this thing. Nope, that's not it. I wanna try and transfer up into that pocket up there. It might be better if I actually get a whole run through the jump line and then hit this hip right here going the other way. I'm gonna try doing that and then it might set me up to get that transfer into the pocket up on the wall. Triple whip the first one. I might be going the wrong way here. Oh, wall right. <laughs> that was sweet. Come on. Yeah, there it is. Well, kind of, but I need to go a little bit further up there than that. I'll case it just a little bit. That screwed up all of my momentum. I'm gonna try this again though. Yeah, there it is. It's kind of janky, but still made it happen. Oh, transferring in? That was clean. Way out to flat. So, on the way out, let's check out and see what the name of this one is. Because I did not catch the name of it. Egypt. So that was what that building was called. And I've never even heard of Egypt before. So we can hit this box jump right here. Oh, I did not rotate the backflip around all the way. I'm gonna try and get that. That looks really fun if I can get that whole line right there. Oh, the backflip cliffhanger again. I didn't rotate it all the way around. There it is. That was a clean one too. Triple whip? Oh no. <laughs> I think I did, but I stopped halfway through. At least after the first whip I stopped. And I landed way out to flat. This right here is almost like two rollers and then it hops right over here into this ramp. This is a really cool place to ride. Again, there's a lot to ride out here. I don't know how accurate it is to the actual Woodward facility, but I mean, I do recognize the names of some of the warehouses. But also, I remember too, at the time, this game came out in like 2001, I think, uh, or at least the Dave Mirror game that <laughs> this park is based off of, came out in 2001, so it's Woodward from 20 years ago. It's not modern day Woodward, which is definitely going to be way different. Thanks so much for checking this video out. If you guys enjoyed this tour around the Woodward facility that was in Dave Mirror's BMX 2, it's now been put into BMX Street's pipe by Connor. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. If you're new around here, you're not subscribed yet. And I'll catch you guys all again in the next video. Have a good one. Man, this place is awesome. You guys got to check it out if you haven't yet.